This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. What if we sold the house and just took off? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I want to make a lot of videos that bring you guys along on this journey. You don't know what's gonna happen, and I think that's what makes it so exciting. Drone just came. Oh, how Look at cool. That. Charging up the batteries. This will be fun. Yeah. This, trying this for the first time. You actually wanna try it? Yeah. So now would you say this is a practical product? Oh my God, or is this, it's uh, so cool, it's like a toy. I'm terrified of crashing into something here. But it, it's like, would you say it's a practical purchase or? Uh, very practical, very, very practical. What do you practical. intend to use it for? Well, I mean, it is practical because we are gonna, like when we look for property, we can like look around the area more and look for issues like on the roof or, or what it, the whole property looks like or neighbors. So in this episode, we're going to determine which tools are going. I'm going to be using the lathe for the last time. And we're going to make this whole situation look a lot better. These are the ones that we use all the time. And I would love to have a nice set. As the last project for the lathe, before packing it up, I've got this 4-in-1 screwdriver turning kit from Rockler. So let's take a look at this. So what's kind of cool about this kit, it has uh, four different screwdriver tops on it and so you can turn it around. So you get four in one and it has this nice ferrule, it's a pretty simple concept. Now, I haven't actually turned anything for the longest time because it's miserable here in the winter and you don't want to be outside turning. Now what is this you may ask? This is a baseball turning block. Um, I didn't want anything fancy. I didn't want some exotic, you know, like Coca Bolo or. I just wanted a substantial, nice hardwood. Okay, so I see you're working on the lathe project. Um, I guess this is something that's gonna get packed up pretty soon, though, the lathe. Yes, because I'd like to clean off this table relatively soon. I am debating about uh, this lathe. Um, because this is a small beginner's lathe. And you've always wanted a uh, speed controller. Uh, yeah, I always wanted a slightly bigger one. Well, you always wanted the jet lathe. Yeah, I always wanted the jet To lathe. match the uh, jet bandsaw. But it's a good lathe. So, you know what I was thinking? We want to have the meetup. We should do a giveaway at the meetup for one of the fans mm -hmm. to have this lathe. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Not good. the lathe tools. I think we'll keep those. <laughs> they got to get their own lathe tools. <laughs> yeah. You look a bit goofy. That's a lot better than the other one though. The other one was this always one's flimsy. Really nice and sturdy. I'm so looking forward to having a better setup where maybe we could have a lathe inside or covered where it's actually nicer part of the year to do this because let me tell you when it is rainy and damp and cold the last thing you'd want is to actually come out here and spend some time on the lathe. Pretty much finished. Um, I think I'm just gonna put on some uh, like uh, wax polish on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Now, everybody can picture a carport, but not everybody wants a shop. So we want to clean out this whole area and get it ready so it's more presentable. Now, in order to do that, one of the biggest things here is to decide what we are gonna keep and what we're gonna bring and what we're gonna get rid of. So the miter saw? Probably go. Probably go. We don't need to keep that. It's yes. old and piece of junk. So the Laguna is huge and heavy. It's replaceable. Definitely. Get it's been one. great though. It's been really great. Not enough against Laguna. Yeah. So we get the saw stop, uh, job site saw. Definitely taking this. Yeah, I think we're gonna need it right away. Plus we can get rid of the stand, put it back on the movable yeah. cart. So the jet band saw, it's definitely smaller, so it's not as massive to transport. It also needs to have some type of stand. It is kind of odd shaped to pack up. That's on the fence right now. Yeah. What do you think about the planer? It is heavy. It's not particularly a good one. i tell you what I do want to take, it's all that wood. So we have a lot of walnut. Uh, we have a lot of maple. We have some, some, uh... This is a cedar piece. Bring all the wood, maybe not bring all the tools. I mean, I guess it all comes down to when you're filling up that pod or whatever we're going to be using, like, we're going to see exactly how much space we're going to have to work with. Smaller power tools to deal with as well. And I guess in some ways, I mean, they are not that big, so they could just, you could pack them away easier in boxes. Well, yeah, we're taking the lights with us because they're not. Yeah, those lights are, are really great. I decided to take a couple of the other two kits and make a couple screwdrivers for myself with the Purdue. Ooh, it's so red! Yep. Kind of like this for the grip, you know? Well, let's see what the whole thing looks like with the yeah. thing put in it, too. The lighting is really cool right now. So there's the door. I was thinking this could be the draw fronts for the Oh, for inside. inside. That's a great idea. So where is your screwdriver? Oh, it's inside. They sure look very different. So we have Ash and Paduk. Okay, so I, I didn't realize that that little insert has to go in one way and not the other. This shaft comes out, right? Yeah. And so in this side, you have a little indent there that this fits into right yep. but i had it upside down i jammed this thing down even further uh -huh. so i had enough gap for this to fit in then i filled it with epoxy okay <laughs> so the only thing this moves now is this part uh -huh. so now it does not do this right it doesn't really matter though. yeah because i used epoxy i just ended up going over the whole thing with epoxy uh -huh. just like a finish I, I just a finish yeah they both look really cool i think yeah it's nice having a good screwdriver yeah so. okay so last laid project for a while uh, turned screwdriver. So now I'm being ready to pack this laid up and uh, have a giveaway. So we're gonna have the meetup at Four Spirit Distillery um, here in Corvallis, Oregon in South Town on May May 12th, 2.30 p.m. I'll put the uh, information in the description as well. So if you're anywhere in the general area that you should definitely come by. And anywhere on the West Coast. Anywhere on the West Coast. Right, you feel like driving, then go ahead. If you want a lathe, we're gonna do a giveaway on the lathe. Um, right, we might be bringing some other stuff as well. Now, I want to take a moment and thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And I mean, one of the reasons why we can do this kind of move, I mean, we're not tied down to a specific location, is because we're working with awesome companies like Squarespace. And as you guys know, I've been using Squarespace for years for my website, which I use to put up new videos. And I also run a small shop from there selling beeswax polish and sometimes other things. And I really love their system. 
because it's so easy to use. Their templates are really nice. Their e-commerce works great. They've got 24 seven customer service. So yeah, it's quite perfect. Now, if you've been thinking of making a new site, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Darbin Orver to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's pretty cool. Let's go inside. Oh, here's the stand for uh, the table saw. This door right here is a piece of junk. This is our current connection. This is how we close it and open it. So this is gonna get replaced. We should have replaced this years ago. Yes. It's it horrible. Okay, well now we're gonna replace and it. now when we're not gonna be here anymore, we're finally gonna replace it. Yeah, there's duct tape and it doesn't close right so yeah if you want to learn uh, or watch me uh replace this screen door and put on a new one that's gonna be the next video we should go and pick one up yep so what do you think about all these comments that came in well i mean i think a lot of people have a lot of opinions about places they've lived yes um, you know what the one thing that really surprised me though is um like how many people seem to be going for north carolina in terms of like what they recommend. Well, some people mentioned like Florida or something like that. Um, and then when I think Florida, I think like alligators or um, yeah. scorpions. Or scorpions, I think Texas. You yeah, know what was yeah. interesting? I don't think there was a single comment where anybody mentioned California. Except negatively. Negatively, yeah. yeah.